Hey family, I just, I was thinking on some things this morning and um, just a whole train of thought how, you know, I've been on YouTube for four years and there have been several solid cases of, you know, three absolutely undeniable cases of YouTube channels that were considered to be strong gospel contenders and, and widely accepted in the grace community who contended for the gospel for a time and then came out later against the gospel. You know, they went out with from us because they were never of us. And I believe they were just strategically gaining an audience. Um, I don't know, but at least in two of the cases, one of them may have just been confused, but there was one that said, um, he came out later and said that Renee Rowland was like the biggest source of the false Christless gospel on YouTube. And it just like shocked everybody. And strangely, there were quite a few people in the so-called grace community that stayed and supported him after that. And he said he'd always believed that way and just never had the courage to say it. And that's why we need to guard our hearts, um, stay in the word, use our discernment. There's no way to know until they actually reveal themselves, you know. But once they start sounding off, you know, it started with, with uh, smaller, lighter accusations, and then it just built up into full-blown heresy. And, um, you know, as far as someone professing, we just, when they profess, we accept them as a brother or sister, but it is possible for people to to be wolves lying about what they actually believe. And it's so hard for me to believe that. I can't believe anybody could be that way. It's just shocking to me. My jaw was on the floor. And this happened with three different channels that gained an audience and trust within, you know, with people that believe in in the true gospel. And then they they turned and they were obvious wolves. Um and this has reminded me of a dream I had that may have been about a year ago, and I had shared it. It's probably still on this channel, but it'll be a ways back, and it's called Beggar or Spy. And um, I had a dream that there was a man that um, was like a beggar, and I was with my, my family, my parents, and, and my dad stopped the car like I was... He stopped the car uh, and got out because he wanted to help him and give him money. And he tried, He handed him a $5 bill, and the man refused it. He, like, shook his head. He's like, I don't want that. And five represents grace, guys. And then he, he told my dad that he was really a spy in disguise. And, you know, that reminds me of two things from the Bible of uh, the was it the publican and the tax collector or the it, it's a it's a parable where the one like Pharisee is in the temple praising God for how righteous he is I thank you God that I'm this and I'm that and I don't do this and I don't do that like this some of these people over here or this guy over here and then like the tax collector is like, you know, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner, you know. And and Jesus says that he's the one that went home justified rather than the other. Um, so he reminded me of the a beggar, you know, have mercy on me, 
a sinner. I have nothing to bring to the table. I'm relying fully on you, Lord, and your righteousness. And then him saying he was a spy and not really a beggar reminds me of those crept in privily, unawares, to spy out the liberty we have in Christ. And, you know, we don't know until they go out from us, and you know they've gone out from us once they start spewing and spouting false doctrine against grace, against the Lord Jesus Christ. So... Um, it's not to make you paranoid, but it's to make you not gullible and watch out for those warning flags, guys. There's so many times I just wanted to believe the best in people and love on people. And, you know, your love and compassion can be used as a tool against you. Uh, Christians are known for being loving and compassionate and people can use it to draw you into their web of deception by trying to gain sympathy, they can use false humility. They can use flattery. I've seen all these things happen, guys. I've learned so much in the last four years on YouTube. And I've fallen victim to things like that in the past, and I've learned my lesson. So, you know, don't let that stop you from loving and fellowshipping with brethren that are teaching rightly. You know, we don't have to be paranoid. There's a difference between paranoid and and being wise and, and putting up boundaries when they need to be put up and not falling for um, whatever bait people put out there once you realize they are beginning to teach wrongly, okay? All right, I love you guys. Have a great day.